Hey everybody, it's Laura, also known as Sephora Junkie, and I just wanted to share with you a collective haul that I got. Um, you'll have to excuse my voice, I'm kind of sick right now. I don't know, there must be some kind of bug going around because everybody's gotten this. So, anyways, let's get started with, and I'll show you what I got. So I went to Costco, um, a week ago, and I picked up a Stila Contouring Palette. It's called the Contouring Trio, and basically it has the three colors here. It has light dark, or light, flash, and dark. So those are the contouring palettes. Uh, this palette goes for $9.97, and it's at Costco. You know, Costco has great deals when it comes to uh, MAC and Stila products. And you know, Stila is, you know, I mean, it's super cheap and the quality of makeup is great. Um, I basically got two sets of this because I wanted to get all four colors of their lip, lip glaze sticks. So let me go ahead and show you the colors. Um, this lip glaze stick is an apricot, and if you want to see swatches, I'm going to put swatches up on my blog spot. It's uh, sephorajunkie.blogspot.com. So, this next one here, uh, this is grapefruit. The next one is vanilla. And this one is starfruit. <clears throat> Oh, man. I've been pseudofetting my brains out here. I mean, I'm like so congested. Sorry. Uh, anyways, um, I also went to Lush. My husband actually uh, bought this for me because uh, I had to go with him to work. And uh, it was on a weekend and stuff, and I was kind of pouty about it, so he got me a few things. Um, you know, nothing like bribery, right? <laughs> anyways, uh, I went to Lush, and I got Honey, I Washed the Kids. And I've heard so many good things about this. This is actually... Um, from Lush and it's like a honeycomb, honey smelling um, soap and it smells so good you know even with like my congestion I can really smell the scents of these brushes I mean these um, soaps and it's so good so I got that that one was about ten dollars for that sliver um, and then I got another porridge um, soap I'm telling you like within the first two weeks I finished all my Lush products and I love them. Uh, my favorite though by far is the porridge soap so I highly recommend it. I mean the smell is great and it it's it's great for exfoliating because it has these little um, pieces of I don't know what those are actually pieces of I think they're nuts or something on there but it's really good. So the only thing about this one though is that it it does leave a little bit of a mess because the remnants of the exfoliating um, bits there get stuck onto the tubs. So you really got to do a thorough rinse of your tub after. But otherwise, if you can get past that, it is so good. I love it. Um, I also went to Michaels and I picked up some brushes. I'm actually gonna do a another comparison review because I've gotten a lot of uh, great feedback about my alternative to Mac brushes video. So um, the brushes that I got was a half inch Cornell uh, Maxine mop it's a purple one uh, the number two Winton, Windsor Newton brush uh, 240 this is actually a great dupe for the 116 and I believe this one um, it's like a larger version of the 239 um, this one here uh, quarter inch uh, Maxine mop 270 low Cornell brush great it's a great dupe for the mini shader I also got oops everything's flying around here the large uh, teardrop 485 low Cornell brush and that is also a great dupe for the uh, lip brush 316 or actually not the 316 but uh not oh, sorry not 316 it's the 209 it's a great dupe for that and then the next one here, uh, which could be a dupe for the 219, is the um, 272 Dome Round Low Cornell Brush. So I got that from Michaels. And again, I'll be doing a more in-depth review on that. So just stay tuned. I also picked up uh, two mint julep masks. It was buy one, get one free at Walgreens. I've heard such good things about them, and I'm going to try it out. Hopefully, um, I'm not allergic to it, so there's that. I also went to MAC, and I did some back-to-MAC items. Um, I got myself a Technicol um, eyeliner in uh, trip Photogravure because that's my favorite. I love that. It's great for the waterline. I also got Dubling, which is a pink color here. 
that was a back to Mac item. I got fresh water. Open these. I should have opened them beforehand. Sorry, guys. Um, this is fresh water. And then <clears throat> I got ooh, night. Again, you know, pictures and swatches will be on my blog spot <laughs> because it's just, you can't see it. It's kind of washed out on my, my camera. And the next one is Silver Ring, which is a Velux Pearl. They're very similar, actually, Night and Silver Ring. But I thought, you know, I'd, I'd want them both because it was back to Mac anyway. So um, basically, that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. And, uh, you know, I will try to update my blog more often. And I'll put the swatches up there as well. Also, you guys can follow me on Twitter. Um, it's... Uh, twitter.com slash Sephora Junkie. All right, and I also want to remind everybody that I have a contest going on. It's basically your best um, look using just pigments. Um, this is, you know, if you have any questions about it, all the rules and stuff is on my contest announcement video. And, uh, you know, I really love the entries that I've gotten. I've gotten about 34 so far. Contest ends April 1st, um, and the prize is a MAC pigment. But I think, you know, I'm kind of known for changing my prizes around, so I'm probably going to add more stuff to my prizes. I've gotten actually a lot of um, subscribers saying that they actually want to get samples of my pigment collection, which I have not a problem for. Um, you know, so maybe the first prize will be a full-size MAC pigment and maybe... I don't know, like four or five samples of my, um, they can choose whatever color they want from my pigments, and um, I can give them the samples of that. So anyways, uh, you know, if you guys have any suggestions for that, let me know. Um, Prize-wise, I might even have a second and third place winner. I'm not totally sure yet. So anyways, uh, just to give you guys a little bit more motivation. <laughs> anyways, I'll uh, talk to you later, and uh, take care. Bye.